Hi everyone, it's George Belville here with the Head for Home team at Keller Williams Collective. And it's time for our monthly real estate market update. What I like to think of as the vital statistics for the market. And these are the numbers that I basically look at at a glance to see how things are going on in the market. And those numbers that I use are, are the number of new listings, the number of houses that actually sold, the median sale price, and how many months of inventory there are. And I do the new listings, sales, and median sold price from the prior year, not from the prior month, because real estate is seasonal. So comparing to August to July or September to August is really not the best way to do it because different months have a different flow as the year goes on. And I also use the median sold price for houses because with an average, you could have one really high or one really low sale price that could skew the average and it's kind of misleading. So as you probably remember from school, the median sale price or the median number, half or below and half or above. And I know people like averages, but in this case, the median is actually the, the more precise term to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you these numbers for the four primary counties that I work in for, for the most. That's uh, Howard County, Carroll County, Frederick County, and Baltimore County. And you know, on our website, if, if you follow the link below, we have the actual pages of the stats if you wanna look at them that where I take these numbers from. So first of all, I'm gonna start with Baltimore County. August, and these, I'm sorry, these numbers are for August. Uh, it's September now, but the, the numbers come out the 15th of current month for the prior month. So this is for August for Baltimore County. The number of new listings was down 4.7% from 807 last year to 769 this year. So in an already tight market, there's even less listings than last year. The number of closed sales went from 778 to 708, and that is a 9% decrease in the number of sales. The median sale price went up from 341,000 to 358,000. And that's a pretty clear indicator that as the inventory shrinks, prices tend to go up because there's more demand for the houses. And there is one and a half months of inventory in Baltimore County. So real quick, so for those of you who've heard me do this before, the statistics that the National Association of Realtors uses indicate that six months of inventory is considered a balanced market, doesn't favor the seller or the buyer. And that almost never happens. It's, it's a mathematical thing, but it doesn't usually occur. But under six months is considered favoring the seller. Over six months is favoring the buyer because they have more choices. So in this case, Baltimore County is one and a half months. And I use four categories, uh, strong seller market, seller market, buyer market, strong buyer market. And like I said, the, the in-between doesn't really happen. It usually is like a pendulum and swings from one to the other. So Baltimore County is a strong seller market. Carroll County, the number of listings went from 131 to 210 in August. That's a 60% increase in houses for sale, which is quite interesting. The number of closed sales went from 163 to 178. That is a 9.2% increase in the houses for sale. The median sold price went from 465 to 450, which is a 3.2% decrease, which again, these are kind of broad stats. I, I, don't worry that your house went down in value. That's just the mathematical function, not the actual value of the house. And Carroll County has 1.3 months of inventory, giving making it a strong seller market. Next up, we have Frederick County, which went from 345 to 373 new listings for an 8% increase. Went from 340 to 369 closed sales for an 8.5% increase. And the median sold price went from 465 to 495, which is a 6% increase. They have 1.2 months of inventory, which makes that a strong seller market. And last but not least, we have Howard County which went from 284 new listings to 277, which is a 2.5% decrease. The number of closed sales went from 340 to 323, which is a 5% decrease. And the median sold price went from 567 to 605, which is a 6.7% increase. And Howard County has a 0.97 month inventory of houses. So it's a very strong seller market. So if you want to see the actual reports that this is taken from, 
the information will be in the link below. It'll take you to where we post this on our website. And obviously, if you have any questions and want more information, please reach out. I'd be glad to chat. Have a great day.